Hello everybody, I know I might look a little bit different, but hey, it's a new day, new face. But um, this video today, I'm just gonna go over one of my previous old videos, and it's just gonna be how I bleach my eyebrows. Enjoy! Let's talk today about my eyebrows. Now, probably uh, a couple of months ago, I did say, I did say that um, I was gonna shave my eyebrows off, and I was gonna keep shaving my eyebrows off, because it was just what I was gonna do. Okay. Couple months on the line, my eyebrows are going back. Why? Um, you know, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed shaving my eyebrows off and, and drawing them on. But for me, oh, I don't know what it was because when I used to be younger, I shaved my eyebrows off, and they take like months to grow back. I shaved them off, and literally, the first week I didn't have to shave them. The next week I had to shave them twice. The week after that, I had to shave them three times a week. And I was just like, I had to, the more I was shaving, the more I had to shave. And I was just like, ah, oh, I can't be asked for this. I'm just going to let them grow back. And literally, I waited, I think, about a week and a half. And I had my full brow, brows back. And I've only bleached them once since they've grown back. Um, because for the last month, I've actually had dark hair. Well, I've had dark wig on. So, um... So I haven't necessarily needed to bleach my eyebrows. So I just, and I've always said to you, oh, do this and do this and do this. So I thought, I'm going to do a video and I'm just going to show you how I do it. Other shit to them. So yeah, that is um, just my eyebrow little conversation. Just to they are quite blonde anyway. Or I, I think they could be just a teeny weeny weeny bit, uh, bit lighter for my own personal taste. So I'm just going to get straight into it and I'm going to get the products and I'll be straight back with you. Right, if you wanted, um, I'm going to say for an example, if you wanted, like, um, like I used to do myself, I used to have, like, platinum bleach blonde eyebrows. So, um, what you would do is, in the same method, just you have to change one product, okay? You have to, or you can use this product, but leave it on longer, okay? Alright, um... You, you need, like, I'm just going to go through all the things that you're going to need. You're going to need cream peroxide, which will be in a big, big bottle like this, or you can actually get them in small bottles in any hairdressing supply, uh, pharmacy, anything like that, okay? Little peroxides. If you want to have a subtle, lighter blonde, which I'm going to be doing today on my eyebrows, you want to go for either a 10% vol or you want to go for a 20% vol. You can go to Sally's to get bigger bottles like this or you can go to Gilmore's. This one I've actually purchased from Gilmore's because it's my nearest hairdressing supply store. So I actually go there. I'm just going to show you the bottle. It looks like this. Okay, 20 vol. Okay, and you just need um, bleach. Okay, but with the bleach, you need um, bleach like this. It doesn't have to be the pure white. I've just picked this up at Gilmore's again. You can get any other type of bleach, but so that's what you're going to need. Okay, and now you've got this one, and I use this then for highlighting here and stuff like that. Okay, if you wanted the <coughs> sorry, I'm losing my voice. If you wanted um, lighter, brighter, really like platinum bleach blonde eyebrows, I wouldn't, I personally, what I've done, you can either leave this, the, the 20 vol on for the, uh, like a maximum of 5-6 minutes, it depends on dark your hair, how dark your natural hair is, or you might want to do the, the procedure twice, you can do it that way, but what I've done, I use 40 vol, now 40 vol, I wouldn't recommend doing if you're comfortable with it and your application is fine and it's not like seeping into your eyes or anything like that because that is really really dangerous okay go ahead do the 40 vol okay the 40 vol you literally put it on i count to probably one minute one minute and a half like that wipe it off pure white brow white brows okay i may do a video in the future showing you how to do that i mean that is completely relevant to whatever look i'm going for Okay, but the 20 vol, I'm literally going to probably leave it on for about 3 minutes, and then wipe it off, okay? So, I'm just going to get everyone to mix in it. And the stuff you're going to need, you're going to need a mixing bowl, and I like to use cotton buds, okay, for the application onto my eyebrow. So, and you only really need, like, a very small amount for this product. 
So there's the bleach in the pack. Okay, I've just put a small amount of bleach. I'll show you that now. A little bit like that. I know that's not quite a lot, but really, trust me, it's not. It's really a little bit. And the kind of the texture you want to go for, you want to go for like the thickest possible consistency possible because you don't want it running into your eyes. So literally with the, the peroxide, just a teeny little smidge. There it is. That's the powder and the peroxide on it. Get your cotton bud, just give it a little, little smidge into the peroxide. Mix it all up good. Really nice, thick consistency. And if you've got any questions about doing this beforehand, feel free to message me or comment me or anything like that and um, I'll get back to you. I'm just going to add a little bit more and it, like if it does come out a little bit runny on the first time, you can just go back and just put more more um, bleach in, you know, of the powder bleach, just add a little bit more as you do want like a nice thick consistency. Uh, what I tend to do is, at the end that I've actually stirred with, I don't use that end because it's like saturated. I'm using the opposite end of the the cotton bud now. So I'm just going to apply. So, ooh, I'm going to do this. Right, if I start from here, then I'm just going to go. I usually work, start on the, the front part first because that's where the darker bit is. There you go, that's the one eyebrow. Coloured. Do you mean that you don't have to put it on super thick because you can get like a highlighted effect by doing it this way? I mean, instead of like absolutely saturating it like so thick over your eyebrow like that, you can just do it this way because you'll just get like the gradual highlighted look, which is, which kind of, you know, is a nice look. I've actually done it myself, so. There we go, and that is done. Oh, my feet. Try sit on your feet for 10 minutes, honestly. Alright, so there you go. There's the two eyebrows done. Okay, I'm just going to leave them on now for a maximum of um, about three minutes. I'm going to leave them on for, and, um, and then I'm going to get back to you then. I'm just going to go and get a wet wipe, because that's what you want, like a baby wipe. That's what I use to actually take it off, and then I'll show you the results then. Okay, so, hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, so, I'm back. It's been roughly, well, it's, I'm going to be deliberate for the video. It's going to be three, it's, it's been three minutes, so now I'm going to take it off. So, here we go, and then I'll show you the results. And a good tip is, if you want to know um, if you've got all the product off, after you've wiped your eyebrow and you've got most of the product off with your with your wet wipe, run your finger over it. If you feel any like grains or like bits of sand like that, the product's still there, so just keep working it until it comes off, okay? Because trust me, you don't want to keep any of this on your, on your face. There's always handy to have... <coughs> it's always handy to have two wet wipes, one for each eyebrow. But like I've only had to use one and I've got a spare one bird just in case but I doubt I'm gonna use it. When you um when you've put it on thick, because the, the grains in the in the peroxide is still there. So do you know what I mean? And it's not like seeping down your face. So they're my own little tips for you. Like I said, I've done this for years so A number of people say to me, they, they said, oh, I've bleached my eyebrows and they've gone yellow, what do I do? And I'm thinking, well, you can either, it depends on what look you're actually going for. If you're going for canary, canary yellow eyebrows, then you succeeded. But if you want them lighter again, then just put, literally, if you can, put 10 ball and mix it up, put it on, and it'll just take out the, the yellow tinge in it. Or you could even put a toner on it, but with a toner, it get like the toning shampoo and like just put a little bit on, leave it on for a couple of sec, you know, a couple of minutes and just wipe it off. Do you mean don't 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 stop fucking around with your eyes and shit and don't stop putting stuff in your eyes, do you mean it's not deliberate, do you mean? But dude, I'm just gonna give the dry hand test a minute. Do you have any grains? No. Nope. Are you ready for the close up? Are you ready for the close up? Yeah. There you go, there's the close up. I think it kinda suits this hair better, don't it? So 
But obviously, the, the only good thing is when you've got your, your eyebrows bleached. Now, this is only 20 vol, 3 minutes on my original eyebrows. You could put 40 vol, and literally, if you put 40 vol, they're going to be white. They're going to be platinum white. Like, if I had a platinum, if I had platinum blonde a wig on, then I'd probably do it platinum blonde. But obviously, if you've done it, and if you do them like this, and you're like, oh my god, I don't like them, then you can just literally take a pencil. Fill in your eyebrows. But it's nice for summer and it's nice to have a change. So, yeah, so there you go. I just demonstrated to you how you can, um, <coughs> how you can do your eyebrows at home. But just a disclaimer, just do please take caution. Don't, don't send me loads of messages saying, my daughter's just done it and her eyebrows are falling out and all this. I'm thinking, be wise. Listen to my instructions. Do you know I mean, if, you, if you're not confident doing it, don't do it. Do you know what I mean? But there you go, it was easy and I've done it. Do you know what I mean? I've done it my entire life. And it's there you go. That's a better close up than it. It's still it's light to bitch. But there you go. So there you go. And that's my brow tutorial on how to bleach your eyebrows at home.